thereof. Racing for the Grade 1, racing post Henry VIII, Novices Chase. 13 fences to jump, and they come towards the first with Claret Cloak on the inside, and towards the near side is Boulder Success. Those are the first two, followed by Grand Away, who's keen towards the inside in third. Tarquin de Seul is racing in fourth. Hinterland and many rivers to cross at the back of the field as they race up towards the open ditch and it's fence number two. And on the inside it was Claret Cloak who just had the lead over Boulder Success Racing in second. Both Grand Away and Taquan de Sel are very keen in the early stages, now in third and fourth, followed by many rivers to cross. And at the back of the field is Hinterland with a circuit to go and 11 fences to take now in the grade one racing post, Henry VIII Novices Chase. And it's Boulder Success who now strides on into a lead of about a length in the hands of Robert Thornton. In second is Claret Cloak and Lake Nassville as they reach the top of the hill. Taquanda Searle and AP McCoy now racing in third. Gwand away on the inside and Barry Geraghty racing in fourth. Around the outside many rivers to cross and Dominic Ellsworth and Hinterland and Daryl Jacob at the back of the field aboard last year's runner-up. Making the run now down towards fence number four. Well, fence number three I should say and this is the downhill fence and it's Boulder Success who leads Claret Cloak in second. Gwand away will jump it in third and Taquanda Searl. Just going to the buckle end there was Hinterland's rider as he landed a little bit steep but not a serious error as now they rake the turn into the back straight with the line of seven fences awaiting them. And it is Boulder success out in front by a neck. Claret Cloak through on the inside and now he attacks once again and goes on as he takes the fourth fence. Three lengths away was Grand Away, followed by Hinterland, Taquan de Seul, and many rivers to cross. They go over the second one down the back and all six novices jump it clean. Going now towards the final open ditch and it was Claret Cloak, a beautiful leap, but so too by Boulder Success in second and none of them touched a twig. There's then a break of two and a half lengths back to Grand Away as they go now towards the water jump fence number seven in the Henry VIII novices and it will be Claret Cloak who will lead. Landed a little flat-footed, so too did Taquan de Searle. He lost a bit of momentum as he crossed over that water jump, surrendered another length to Grand Away in third, and now just pushed along for the first time by A.P. McCoy. The railway fences, Boulder Success got in very deep, and so too did his stable mate many rivers to cross. The second of the railways, Claret Cloak's lead was a length over. Boulder Success, Taquan de Searle nibbles the turf, a bad mistake. Four out, the final railway, and it was Claret Cloak who led Grand Away on the inside, travelling powerfully. Back in third, Boulder Success. Now there's a break of only two lengths back to Hinterland as they leave the back straight behind them. Taquan de Seul have got a bit of catching up to do now. He's jumping just slightly, let him down, down the back straight. And many rivers to cross is at the back of the field. Three more fences to take in the racing post. Henry VIII, Novices Chase, and Claret Cloak, and Late Nassville is laying it down now to Grand Away. And then Boulder Success towards the outside. Hinterland in the pink, now stalking, racing in fourth. The pond is three out. Claret Cloak was low. Untidy in fourth was Hinterland. Grand Away travels well to the outside of Claret Cloak. They make the final turn. Two fences to jump in this grade one novices chase. Claret Cloak, just the leader. Hinterland on the inside. Grand Away is not now asked to try and quicken towards the outside, but Hinterland is the one who goes on to Grand Away. Claret Cloak and then Taquan de Seul. Hinterland is over the last with a lead of a length and a half. Grand Away trying to rally now on the run in, but it is Hinterland and Daryl Jacob. They lead by a length and a half over Grand Away, but on the drive to the line, it is Hinterland who wins the Henry VIII. Hinterland over Grand Away. Taquan de Seul stayed on to get third. Claret Cloak was fourth.